Cannonball, bok choy, red drum ball, caraflex, napa, this eclectic collection of names is just a small sampling of the varieties of cabbage growing today. Not only do they vary in taste, but they range in color, size, and shape. As you visit farmer's markets, cabbage might end up being as much of a conversation piece as it is a vegetable. It's really funny because people are like, I've never seen cabbage like that before, and oh, that's so cute, and you know, definitely is different than a head of cabbage you're gonna buy at the grocery store. Donna Warhover is a cabbage growing aficionado. This master gardener helps supply her area with a wide variety of fresh produce through local farmers markets and her CSA. This Caraflex cabbage is forming a beautiful head in there. The outside leaves show some damage, but that's a beautiful, a beautiful head of cabbage. Her philosophy is simple. Grow the best tasting and the best looking food for the community. I've just met so many people that are taking a risk and um, following their passion and um, contributing to our small communities in really big ways. And that's been really rewarding for me. It's mid-July and today is one of the last days of harvest for her spring cabbage crop. Armed with a front-edged knife and a large basket, Donna makes short work of this row. Cabbage are so easy to harvest. And then once you get them harvested, see there's not a lot you have to do to them. They got their own little wrapper on them. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So these will all go to market in the morning. For a leafy green, cabbage stores remarkably well. I'll be growing some of the storage varieties. When they are harvested, they can be stored for several months. And people can be enjoying their fresh produce well into the winter. Its densely packed head produces a lot of food. Best of all, it's easy to grow in the Midwest and does especially well in fertile soils like Iowa's. Follow a few steps and planting your own cabbage can reward you with quite a bounty. So cabbage is best grown in cool temperatures. It likes a cool soil temperature. Um, so that's one of the first crops that go in by about July, it's time to get them all out because if they're not all ready, they're going to start bolting. And then you can start again in the fall. So right now, while we're harvesting all of the ones that have been planted early spring, I've got new cabbage plants in the greenhouse getting ready to be planted for a fall harvest. Um, but you can use it for whatever you'd like. It's really great because it has good big leaves to use for like cabbage rolls um, or wraps. Uh, it's great raw in slaws. So pretty much whatever you would do with regular cabbage, you could do with Careflex cabbage. As Donna shows us, good things often come in nicely wrapped packages. Cabbage is no exception. From its high nutritional content to the seemingly endless ways to cook it, it certainly deserves a place in your kitchen. <laughs>